A Stampers, Gina again, and I'm coming back with the Simple Sketch Sunday. I haven't taken a picture of the sketch. Ooh, what I'll do, I'll have to show you my card. It's um, it's a scalloped edge down one side with a, a circle which has been chopped off, two banners, a stash across the top, and a flower. <laughs> so I'll best show you my card, do not I? So this is my version of our sketch this week, and it's basically a scalloped edge, a circle, some of it's chopped off, our two banners, you could have put cardstock or ribbon, I've used ribbon, and then a beautiful flower to decorate up the top. And I've simply slipped in my thank you right there, in through that message, and I've stamped a low, gorgeous row of butterflies down the side. I absolutely love it. It's from the Needle and Thread, and the designer series paper is Needle Point Nook, and I've added Winker Stella. Just around, the, I've even sponged these banners. So where I sponged, I added Winker Stella and to my, semi uh, my circle as well. Perhaps I should have popped a bit down the side here. But absolutely gorgeous. Lovely decoration on the inside. So I'm going to show you how I made that. These are my card pieces. This is my thick white base. It's 300 GSM. I love this card stock. It's quite substantial for card bases and I, I love Whisper White but it's, I think it's a little bit too thin for me for card bases and I know they sell the thick but uh, I get 50 A3 sheets when cut in half makes two A4 so I get 100 sheets which gives me 200 cards and it only costs me like £10 from the range so that's why I buy this card stock as well not only that it's substantial enough uh, I pre-cut my paper, but I, it's upside down, unless I have it on this side of my card, but it doesn't call for it on this side of the card. <laughs> so what I'm going to do, I'm going to flip it, and I'm going to have it that side. What I did, I put the two pieces together, and this was the scallop edge I used. It came free with my um, Gemini Junior. And it cuts out your papers in that style, that style, see that there? Like this be beautiful fleur, and then this, it looks like a torn edge, but it's absolutely gorgeous. So that's where that die come for them. And I'm going to glue that down. This is a piece of Flirty Flamingo, which is 3 and 7 eighths by 5 and 5 eighths. And my designer says paper is literally just an eighth of an inch smaller, just so I've got the tiniest little border all the way round. So that worked out at five and a half by three and three quarters. I've got a spare piece of my designer series, uh, Granny Apple Green and Whisper White for my flower and leaf at the top. These are going to be for my banners. One is one inch and one is three quarters of an inch and we'll banner those together got a piece of ribbon to go around so I'm going to remove the card out of the way for now I'm going to do everything and then I'll stick it on my card so let's just glue this down and then I've got the largest of the scallop circles and the next one down just so I can see it if I use the same size die you'd only literally see the tips so I've left it so that's the number seven, and that's the number eight in our layering circles. And now I didn't want to cover this pattern up, but my card pattern would be upside down then. But I don't mind either either way on this designer series paper, it's just beautiful. I love the stitched arrows on the other side as well. Only because they remind me of arrows. It's probably some sort of blanket stitch or something. I used to be a uh, seamstress years ago, but oh, that was hand stitching in a sewing factory when I left school with men's tailored suits. So I'm not a knitter or anything like that. <laughs> so let's get that popped on there. What I did, I layered these together 
in fact I'm going to do it now, I layered these together, stamped. Come on, don't plug up now. There it goes, come in. Afterwards, because I wanted to know where I was going to put my banner pieces. So I only get one shot at this, girls, because I can't turn it over once it's stuck down. <laughs> So I'm going to put that in there and I'm literally, I'm only going to take a slice off. So for that, and that's my stamp set, I'm just going to just basically take that little slice off. I don't need a lot to take off, just a little bit. And then I'm going to glue that so it's right on the edge there so it looks like it's been chopped off on purpose and that one, I was gonna I was debating whether to put it on dimensionals but because I'm gluing and I want to get everything nice and close to that edge I decided to glue it right down beautiful and uh, I keep putting the lid on this glue. You have to basically, otherwise it'll just dry up. It dries up so quickly. So I'm going to put these in using the triple banner punch. Slide it all the way down and try your best to keep it in the centre. This one fits lovely. It's so the one inch. And I'm going to slide that all the way in. Beautiful. <coughs> I've got my dies out at the ready. I've got my little stamps all here ready. I've got my dauber ready so I can sponge my little ends. But we're going to do a bit of stamping first. So I want my little flower on here and I like to utilise every last bit of my cardstock so this has come out of my scrap spin. Um, so that is, I'm going to adhere that on there. Just got to get the shape right first. You got to get these in. Is that it? There it is. Oops, don't slip. There we go. And then I run those through the big shot, utilising all little bits. So I've got to switch it on first. get another flower out of that, a uh, leaf out of that somewhere. And remove the dye. Isn't that cute? Cute, 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 cute. And I can pop my dyes back now. And I'm keeping the inner leaves as well. Because um, I wanted it to look full. I didn't want it to look so hollow. So hence, I'm going to keep that in order as well, so I know which ones they go back into. Whoops. 
fiddly little thing. But so cute. <clears throat> Excuse me. Right, whilst I've got the stamp, a little up the ink open, I'm just gonna jazz up the ends. I think this is a beautiful colour. So sweet. It reminds me of sunshine kisses. Just beautiful. Reminds me of Little girls playing out in, in the summer fields, picking daisies, making daisy chains. I just think it's a really adorable colour. So what I'm going to do after, I'm going to hold them into place and trim them down. I just think it's so cute. And again, I'm not going all the way up to the top because I know they're going to be trimmed down. I seem to be getting nail marks in my card. Gripping it too tight, that's what it is. So there's that done. I am going to stamp my flower. I'm going to do the foliage first. Because I want to keep it all on the card. Just like, I love the fact that it looks like it's been hand stitched as well. It's just beautiful. It's an amazing stamp set. And then I'm just going to move that forward, put my elbow in it. And there's a way to line this up as well. That big flat, that big petal there against this one. And this is how I only got one shot at it. Oh, it's lovely. Beautiful. I'm have to clean that off. Da, 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 da. <laughs> so I'll grab the inside of my card while the ink is out. I'm just going to scoop that up there. Taking our gorgeous butterflies and I'm just going to stamp one way and then the other way all the way down. Just add some prettiness to this card, it's just beautiful. Let's see if we can get those last two on there. Perfect. So that's the inside of my card sorted as well. It's just simple stamping and a little bit of... Uh... Yeah, it's clicked into place. So I'm going to grab my tape, double-sided tape, and I've just taken two little pieces. And I'm going to stick them right on the ends of my beautiful ribbon. Love this. And don't worry because this is amazing. If you press this and then bend up, it already peels it off for you. It's fabulous. But I've got to first attach my... What I did for this, I just picked them up, held them into place and trimmed them off. Perfect. This one is here. I should just attach them, shouldn't I? Making life hard for myself. So now they're cut. This one's cut down to size. I've got to get my thank you in there as well, see? So. I might have to trim a little bit more, yeah. Quite similar to the ones we did a few weeks back, remember? 
So I'm just going to trim off the excess now. I always cut from behind. It's so much easier to see how much you need to take off. Because if you don't cut it from behind, you could end up cutting too much. And then it's not looking right. So now for my beautiful ribbon. I can line him up perfectly first. And then I'm just going to hold that into place. Peel back and just wrap that around. That is beautiful. Nice and straight. Perfect. Yay! <laughs> so I'm going to dot my leaves about. Such a pretty card. And I want it coming off there a little bit. Don't worry about the glue, it does dry clear and you won't see anything. So I'm going to fill these areas with the glue. Touch. And then just lift up and place those back in. Whoops. Flip it over. There we go. It's fitting in perfect. And this one as well. Just glue them back into place. I think that is just so adorable. And now for my... Oh! I just glued everything down on this one. It's quite a one-dimensional card, really. And then I can add... My beautiful flower on top. Now for my thank you. And now I only get one shot at this. That's why I've got to go all properly. And I'm just... Perfect. Absolutely perfect. So it's just a bit of die cutting. It is very simple to do. I'm going to add it to my card base, but I'm going to use tape because I love this tape and it's fabulous. And it's going to help me line up my card. And it's going to help sticky down my ribbon so it's got double protection. I don't want any of this coming apart. Beautiful. And I'm just going to peel this edge away and this edge away. And this way I can mess around checking the distance at the bottom and the width and seeing if I've got enough space at the top and that looks perfectly straight to me now. And then I just whip off the sides perfectly. Perfectly down. Fabulous. And I'm going to grab some rhinestones. And I just pop three down there. And one on each of the flower centres. I just think that is so sweet. Absolutely adorable. And then what I did, I ended up taking out the little black thing inside and refilling this with uh, rubbing alcohol. And it's literally giving me a brand new pen again. And I think it's better shine on this one. And the first time I opened the pen. Because you can get like, if you buy rubbing alcohol and fill the container again, 
because a lot of this a lot of this stuff stays in the tube. Just adding it to my leaf. And then I'm gonna go do it down the sides where I've highlighted with my sponge darber. A bit of shine. I tell you what, it doesn't half show up. Beautiful. And then just around the outside of my semicircle. Just on the flirty flamingos. That is gorgeous now. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Love that. Loving that. That's, I like both of the papers. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Perfect. And I'm not going to do any more to that now. I could go down this side, couldn't I? Oh, no, I'm not. I'm going to leave it. <laughs> so there you have it. That's my take on this week's sketch. Um, they, can be, they will be on the blog uh, after Sunday night, after about 8 o'clock. I will put all the pictures from all the ladies and their, their creations of this beautiful sketch as well. They'll be on the blog. Um, I just hope I just really had so much fun. We got a gorgeous collection in there, and we got those gorgeous ones in there. Just beautiful. So there we have it. That's my take on this sweet sketch. Thank you for watching. I love a thumbs up and a share. Um, please don't forget to press the subscribe button and the little bell straight away. I do post every single day, and I also do ten minute treats on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, six o'clock tea time, UK time. And then on Sunday night, as you can see, is the Sunday sketch. Simple sketch Sunday. So, thanks for watching. Bye.